I'm free, you know, really good because since, you know, long time I don't lose, you know, any fight. Uh, it was my dream to win, you know, ADCC. Last one, I get second. And this one, you know, the dream comes true. And after 12 days, I had this, you know, was my first fight in the United States. I already, I already fought in Finland, Venezuela, and Brazil. But here was first time, and I want, you know, mm. I wanted to do good. And mm. actually I did, so I feel really good now. Mm. Uh, tell us about the final against uh, Flavio. Yeah, Flavio Cachorrinho is, you know, a pretty, pretty technical fighter and tough guy. And but like I said, it was my dream and I think nothing could, you know, stop me. Mm. So I went to the fight like, you know, really focused to win and start attack since the first minute till, you know, uh, tap his, tap, taps him. Mm. Okay. Uh, so tell about this uh, fight over the weekend. You fought uh, Ryan Stout. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us how that fight went. Uh, so, like I said, I was, you know, uh, I want to do good job because it was first time in the United States fighting MMA, mm. Vale Tudo. And then, but I was pretty focused. The, the, only, the only question was, you know, I had 12 days, you know, to change all my training and keep focus. It's hard when you have big competition and, you know, you should keep focus because normally you, you lose the focus, you know, for one week, you know, or a while. And, so I, but I could, you know, keep the focus and still training, and training right, you know, and I think I did pretty good. I won in ten and a half or something like that. Mm -hmm. so uh, awesome. This is my aim now, you know, mixed martial arts, vale tudo. So all my life I was training jiu jitsu, but think about fighting vale tudo. Uh, now probably this year, first time I'm not gonna fight world championship because I wanna just keep concentrating a little. Of course, I can still fight in some championships with kimono, you know. But now I think it's the time to change, you know, to do the change into the valitude, you know. And how are you making that change? Uh, how long have you been training stand up? Because most people know you as a, mm -hmm. a submission artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I should learn, you know, stand up well. But I think, you know, I should still concentrate in my jiu jitsu because I win, I won the fights, you know, always with my jiu jitsu. So should concentrate in my takedowns, you know. In jiu jitsu, we have good takedowns, good defense, and ground fighting. But stand up is more defensive, so I should train a little bit of boxing and Muay Thai, those stuff. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, uh, should be, you know, a complete fighter, but I think. It, I sh I'm never gonna forget my Jiu Jitsu because with Jiu Jitsu I win my fights, you know. Who are you training with in particular for your boxing and kickboxing? Yeah. Actually, I have one coach in Brazil, he do all my training, not just stand up but ground fighting, like the Vale Tudo training, you know, the MMA training. His name is Josel Destaque. He's the same coach as Paulo Filho, who fights in Pride. You know, he's really good. He came from boxing, so he do my stand up training. And but he, he know how to do my training on the ground, you know? He don't teach the position, but he know how to stay in this position, escape, do some stuff. He make all my training. But, and sometimes I go to training Muay Thai with a, I have one blue belt, he's very good Muay Thai. He's teacher, you know, of Muay Thai. And I go training with him, his name is Nestor. I'm not ground and pound, but I use, you know, I, I punch to open the space, you know, to use my Jiu Jitsu. And this all, you know, jiu-jitsu is complete. We have stand-up, we have floor, we have punch, elbows. But when you see championships, like more sport jiu-jitsu. But since we start in Brazil, we're training everything, you know. We're training how to punch, how to do everything. And I just have, I'm not going to stay like all the fighting punching from the guard. But I can punch it to open, to go pass, mount, you know, this stuff. But not, my, my aim is not to punch the guy from the guard. My aim is punching to open space, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I want to say to my fans, if they want to see, you know, real jiu-jitsu in, in the Valley to the fights, MMA fights, you know, that's how, what I want to do, you know. I don't want to go there just to knock out people. Sometimes it happens, but I want to 
show words that to you know, win, you know, without hurt your opponent. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.